Happy Thriller Ween, everyone. I hope everybody's having a good day, even though I pray for the world. Oh, gosh. Ah, so much going on in the world, but I pray for a resolution as soon as possible. Um, I got my living dead earrings on, Michael's Ankh symbol, right? Where Michael wore it, you know, the black pants. He wore it on a black jacket. He wore it on a red jacket. He even had it on, he had that red jacket on on his official Twitter account saying that he's going to be the living dead. Come on, come on. Okay, um, um, if anything, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, always refer back to my live docu-series or my over 700, almost probably 750 or more uh, videos on YouTube, but it's going to take you forever to watch all those. So just know, I know all that information. <laughs> just know, I know everything that's in my four documentaries and I know everything that's in now 700 videos. So I am the world's foremost authority on, uh, as well as the, the all the projects that I have, the individual with the most information and the most emphasis on Michael Jackson. Okay, so, um, so if you want to know anything about me, please refer to my videos or my Alive docu-series. Um, and, or I got an e-movie book too. Okay. Or watch some of my, my short film. All right. So before we get started, I want to wish my oldest, dearest friend, Dana, a happy birthday. All her life, she's been told that she looks like Dinah Ross. Very, very pretty. Right. And happy birthday, Dana. Okay. And, uh, uh, so we want to wish her a happy birthday. I've known her since elementary school. I mean, <laughs> how many years is that since we were like 11, 10, 11? So 50 years, <laughs> 50 years, right? And we're still buddies and still love each other. So anyway, happy birthday, um, to Dana. Um, you know, uh, before I get started, I want to talk about a couple of things. Have you guys noticed? The number of porn uh, postings on Michael Jackson pages. Oh my God, I've been deleting them and blocking them and, and those tennis shoes, Lord have mercy. Okay, so you guys, you see that porn, it's disgusting. Please report and block as soon as you can, okay? Because I have blocked maybe 50 of them. Okay, and I should not have to come on Facebook and, and be subject, and children, should not be subjected to disgusting sexual activity when you're just going on Facebook to communicate with your people, your friends, or post the things that you're most interested in. Okay, so Facebook got to get a little bit better at that. Okay, all right, so we got that out the way. I like to thank um, Nancy uh, Alvaro, who sent me more Michael Jackson stickers, Michael, Black Lives Matter. I'm keeping that one. Okay, but I got a lot more stickers. And thank you so much. But she said she didn't mean to send me these sports ones. So, yeah, they sent me sports ones. So she said there were supposed to be three Michael Jacksons and, and two of them are Michael Jackson. And one of them is not. But I thank her nonetheless. Where's the other one? It's somewhere around here. All right. Um, also, let's see what else before I get started started. Rest in peace to Matthew Perry. Um, who was, um, uh, he played somebody Bing on, um, Chandler Bing on Friends. He passed away, um, this past weekend and, uh, this past week. And also Paulie, Paulie from Rocky had died a couple of weeks ago and I didn't mention that one. And of course, Shaft, you bad mother, shut your mouth. Richard Roundtree passed away too. Um, he played Shaft in the first Shaft of the um, 70s, and then he played it in, I don't know what year that other Shaft was, but he played it both times, and he's been in a lot of other movies. So rest in peace, and thank you for the entertainment, uh, uh, John Shaft. <laughs> and Isaac Hayes is the one that did the soundtrack and the theme song for that, which is Shaft was a bad mother, shut your mouth right? <laughs> okay. Um, so rest in peace and thanks for the entertainment, everyone. Thank you. All right. So um, let's, let's go ahead and get started now. Thriller Ween. All right. Uh, oh, we are getting started. But before I do Thriller Ween, Billboard. 
Now, John Bronco and Billboard had it out not too long ago, okay, because of the 200 best singers or something, and they had Michael at number 60 something, you know, I mean, really? 64 or something like that, just some crazy, ridiculous number. And they, um, um, and it was rather insulting and embarrassing when Michael has sang since he's a child and you got to hear the vocals on Ben, you got to hear the vocals on Gotta Be There, you got to hear the vocals on um, so many of Michael's songs. And he has the best selling album ever released in the whole wide world, Thriller. Okay, that's why I call it Thrillerween. Um, and you're going to list him as number 64. So John Bronco went out and said he didn't like him. John Bronco is the executor of the Michael Jackson estate. And so now they dissed Michael again by saying that uh, the 20, the top 20 Halloween songs and nobody's and they didn't mention a uh, thriller um, who's watching you. OK, which is the song Michael sang on with uh, Barry Gordy's son, who's watching you, um, um, and also Janet's Black Cat. I've never thought of Janet's Black Cat as a Halloween song. Neither did I do Who's Watching You with, um, what was his name? Uh, Michael Jackson, hold on. Uh, I know his name. Who's watching? Who's watching me? Who's watching me? I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I get no privacy. Rockwell. Oh, okay. And Michael really did that as a favor. He happened to, the story I heard, he happened to be, um, uh, Rockwell was in the same studio, um, well, room of studios. And um, uh, Barry Gordy asked him to go and do the, the lick for that song. And Michael went in and did it and nailed it quickly. And it was a great hit for uh, Rockwell, which is uh, Barry Gordy's son. And that made the list, okay? But Thriller did not. So that was a that was that was a punishment to John Bronco. That was a punishment, especially when you have people like um. Here, let me show you. When you got the was the Bengals the football NFL football team? Here it is. Here it is. Okay. I better not have the volume up because they're gonna they're gonna uh, uh, flag me for that. But let me do the whole thing. Uh, it's just too big. Gosh, let me do it a little smaller. Okay, and you know my, you guys patient with me because it seems like they're they're um they're programming these phones that if you show something on the screen that they're gonna hourglass you. They're gonna try to block you from doing it. So I'm gonna do it, and I think I got ten seconds before it does that. Okay, all right. So here it is, right here. Um, when you got an NFL team doing, starting their game and playing homage to Michael. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Oh, that's just so nice. Okay. And, uh, and they were the Bengals. Yeah, I'm right. The Bengals. Uh, so we thank them. So how could you not, you know, not put Michael with Halloween? I, 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 I don't get it. You know, I don't understand. It's like the ultimate. And then um, 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 who's watching me? Yeah, I got that note. Then with, um, Thriller with Michael and the scariness and the costumes and the living dead. That's why I got my living dead earrings on and the living dead. And then Michael followed up with ghost. Michael was very much into also Moonwalker, the movie, um, had Michael die and come back from life. So if I think with Thriller, Michael didn't really have it figured out that he was going to use living dead symbolisms in the future. Um, and that it was like a prequel to something fate, fate was like speaking to him, um, during Thriller and making that all those living deads, the werewolf, the zombie, the, the ghost, um, um, even sometimes in other stuff, Michael used angels because angels are supposed to be part of the living dead too, right? Um, so Michael used all those symbolisms to say one day I'm going to retire and I'm going to be the living dead. And, and I, I want to say another philosophy. Okay. This philosophy is really important. A lot of people think that if they don't know something about Michael Jackson, that it didn't happen, right? 
A lot of people walk around thinking they're Michael Jackson knowledgeous and they don't know anything. They might know 1% of his life, which is the stuff that made the news. And they have, no, they have not thought past. Michael had 24 hours in a day, just like we do. And everything he did did not make the national news or the worldwide news. So there's a whole wealth of information that the public does not know about Michael Jackson that I specialize in bringing to you guys. Um, with all my videos and everything that I, I've done, and especially the death hoax, because the death hoax clues are specifically for us. Michael does them for us to keep us intact, to keep us intact. Um, so uh, the philosophy of people thinking, uh, if I don't know something about Michael Jackson, then it doesn't exist. You must be crazy. You must be ridiculous. And they ain't even spent no time researching. Um, tell me some stuff. When I got you know, five documentaries on him and I got an e-movie book and I got a short film and I got over 700 videos and thousands of posts, but somebody going to tell me <laughs> what I don't know. Okay. Tell me uh, that I'm crazy or I'm ridiculous or whatever, when they have no idea that they don't even know. They don't even know that they don't know. That's one of my favorite phrases. You don't know that you don't know. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, um, um, and also Thriller 40. Oh my God. Thriller 40. Finally, 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 Thriller 40 is coming out. It's a year late. Okay. Um, it's a year late. It's coming. It's airing on Showtime and Paramount Plus. And I think some worldwide, uh, international fans get to see it on Paramount Plus. I think somebody from England, uh, told me that it's airing on Paramount Plus December 2nd. December 2nd, showtime. Please, everybody, post, share, um, distribute, because we want this to really uh, do better than Janet's documentary. Janet's documentary did great, and I loved it. I loved it. Um, but we want Michael's Thriller 40. And, you know, it's got all the celebrities in it. But it's done in the same style as every documentary. Talking heads, split with footage, you know, people giving their perspective. And which is great and good. And we need to watch and we need to uh, um, and we need to um, support, of course, of course. But I'm working on something where you get a completely uh, different pers a, a world of Michael Jackson you don't even know about. OK, um, the Michael Jackson biopic, I'm sure it's still being worked on. Um, you know, there's still the actor strike. So no actors, but I'm, they're probably prepping or something, you know, because I've heard that the actor strike might be over in a week or two. So within this week or next week, they're still negotiating. They negotiated over the weekend. So, um, you know, you, you do as much as you can. A lot of productions are um, are I have started. And they're just waiting for, you know, to just bring the actors in so they can do it. But you got set work, you got costume work, you got, um, you got, um, the perfect the script, you got, pro you got production, you got props, you got, um, fixing up Neverland and, and fixing up Havenhurst. And we know that they've been doing that. I've been driving by Havenhurst. You know, I drive by Havenhurst. I drive by it and don't even tell y'all. I drive by it, um, a few times a month, at least two or three times a month, hoping that I'm going to catch something. And sometimes I do, most times I don't, but I always drive by there because I want to see when there's big trucks going in and uh, and I know that they're they're filming. So there won't, they'll, they'll be doing pickup shots, aerial views. They're going to be doing a lot of pre-stuff so that when the actor strike is over, they can finish hiring. Um, we know that Jafar is playing Michael. I don't know if there's going to be multiple Michaels. I don't know what, what era it is, but I imagine it's around thriller, thriller time. Um, the, my MJ, the musical was at, uh, dangerous, I think the early nineties, 92 before the allegations happened. That's MJ, the musical, which is also opening in December. Um, in uh, multiple cities, but I think it's opening. Um, I, I think MJ the Musicals in Los Angeles. MJ the Musical, um, Musical uh, Los Angeles. Okay, MJ the Musical Los Angeles is going to be event tickets. It is at the Pantages Theater. And, uh, okay, the Pantages Theater. And it starts December 20th. So real quick, here's MJ the Musical. 
and you guys can freeze that. That's at the Pantages Theater here in Los Angeles, okay? So my sister called me and said, every time I see that commercial about the thing, I think of you, Pearl. And I said, you must want to go. She said, I do. So we're going to try to see if we can go one of these days um, to see it, even though I've already seen it, but it was so fantastic. I don't mind seeing it again because it was freaking the best. And even MJ1, oh my God. Oh my God, all of them are so good. So I I have big expectations for the biopic, okay? And then I'm working on a secret project, okay? Mine is so, you know, I'm, 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 as a, I've done the work. It, uh, more work needs to be done, but, you know, it, oh gosh, I, I'm, you know, and then a live five, I've stopped for a live five because I had to do some other things and I got to work and I got to make money and I got to sell my shea butter. You know, I'm my own sponsor, right? So here's Michael Jackson's Thrilloween. I think I've sold out, but if you guys want me to remake it, it's really uh, smells like uh, dragon blood, which is an incense and also a fragrance. It's uh, kind of cinnamony. Um, so if you like to smell spicy, uh, this would be the shea butter for you. Plus I still got, um, I made extra Michael Joe's. I don't have Janet Joe back, but I have a couple of sing on socks, which is king of pop. So go to stays all day shea. Let's do work and play a, eh? cause everybody's got skin, right? Um, you want soft, luscious, wonderful, uh, skin. Um, you know, my chest is looks Fabulous for 60. Fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, and also I'm going to make a deodorant, a shea butter deodorant. Lavender. I Even though I have lavender essential oils, I'm going to have a lavender deodorant where I'm going to put extra lavender in there. And I'm going to call it lavender heavy uh, as a deodorant. Um, and I know Paris, Paris, honey, Paris, uh, she likes natural, um, natural deodorants. So she can try the, the heavy lavender deodorant that I'll be making on Thursday and I'll be putting it on the website. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, the Creed Adventus, Vanilla, uh, Go Go Channel, um, you know, um, My Ease Lust. I mean, there's so many, there's so many fabulous, fabulous. I've got over 40 fragrances. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, let's see what else. Oh. Most disliked celebrities. Oh my God. Oprah deserves this. Okay. Oprah deserves it. Okay. Um, um, Oprah's in the top for the most disliked celebrities of 2023. And Oprah is right now all votes. She's number one. It changes because people are still voting. Um, and you know, it's, it's such a shame. Okay. Um, there you go. Okay. Oh, Christy Teigen. Yep. You know, she has been a mess with all her. It's about children and, and sex and, 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 oh, it's just sick, sick what she did, but nobody calls her a pedophile. Woody Allen married his daughter. Okay. Kanye. Oh, Kanye just went crazy, especially the, the Jews comment. Come on, Kanye. I mean, come on. Um, Nikki, mm, I heard that she Okay, um, Nicki Minaj, I always heard she ain't always the nicest. And then there's Donald Trump Jr., Little Nas X. He did some nasty stuff with some tennis shoes with blood and stuff. I don't know what the... Elon Musk with his racist company having to pay one of the biggest racist settlements ever uh, for employees calling people the N-word. And oh, it's just horrible. And then Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne's tripping. Okay, talking about he supports Donald Trump and... Teddy Riley, too. Come on. You may not like everything that the Democrats have done, okay? But Donald ain't the one, okay? Don't vote for Donald or support Donald because you don't like some of the things the Democrats have done. You are misled down the wrong path. Donald Trump, if he was in office, oh my God. He's inexperienced, he's hot-headed, and he's selfish. So we cannot... I'm just saying, you know me. But anyway... Uh, Oprah, Oprah, the reason why Oprah is number one on the list is because, and not Gail, because Gail and Oprah both for Leaving Neverland, that child porno film, uh, they both were on the boat, um, David Geffen's boat watching Leaving Neverland before it aired at Sundance and before it aired on, um, on, um, uh, um, HBO. 
And I don't know what's going on with that lawsuit, that um, that lawsuit, that breach of contract off uh, lawsuit, because there was a contract that said perpetually, you're not to disparage Michael Jackson. And that means forever, ever, 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 ever. OK, um, so I don't know what's quite going on with that arbitration. I will look it up at one point. But Oprah, uh, Gail just interviewed uh, Jay-Z. And I'm sure it was a great interview, but Oprah, but Gail is not on the most, at least she ain't in the top most hated list. And she also interviewed um, uh, uh, R. Kelly, right? So the reason why Oprah's on this list and not really Gail is because Oprah, Michael deserved be better from Oprah, okay? Michael was there for Oprah and made her uh, talk show have longevity, and when he granted her that interview in 93, he granted her that all access interview um, and and she owed Michael her own investigation. She had the money. She had the wherewithal. She called herself a journalist at one point. She was newscaster. She Michael deserved better from Oprah. She, and then the family forgave her after she said when Michael was acquitted, said something to the fact to the effect of, I guess we'll never know. The jury made it. He's innocent. 14 out of 14 counts. Doggone it. I mean, my God. Okay. So with Oprah um, 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 saying that, and then when the family, after the death announcement, let Oprah into Havenhurst and interview Paris Prince and BG and other nieces and nephews, and uh, uh, Latoya was on her network with her reality show. Um, they were trying to bring her in to calm her down, but then she went and turned on again and did that Leaving Neverland and did that special after HBO aired it, talking about it feels good to be molested and, and, and believing these liars and not really being fair enough to watch that documentary um, um, without a bias, okay? Because once you watch that documentary there is no evidence there is no provable facts there is no witnesses it's just a manipulation of words okay it's just a manipulation of words but it don't have nothing you know just like the subway guy who was a pedophile for real for real okay um and he went to jail and they cut that real short um and he is in jail to this day and he was a for real pedophile um uh um um she didn't give him the uh, the scrutiny that she gave Michael Jackson, okay? And that guy, that subway guy, um, um, they had him recorded. They had all just uh, Michael. Trust me, the CIA had a camera up in that house in Havenhurst, okay? Why wouldn't they? The FBI put a camera up there. Of course they did. Of course they did, right? And they were going to use it against him, right? You know. Uh, found nothing. The FBI found nothing. The Child and Family Services found nothing. The LAPD found nothing. The Santa Barbara Police found nothing. There was a 13-week trial in which whatever they found ended up being nothing. Okay, because people leave their fingerprints. They 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 leave their uh no fingerprints on no no porny. Michael didn't even have no child porn. Okay, he had books that other people had that that had nothing to do with pornography. He had uh, Playboy, uh, Barely Legal, all heterosexual or girl on girl. Okay, he had Hustler. He had Black Beauties. He had all these heterosexual men, heterosexual uh, pornography, which told the world this is where his sex with his with his DNA on it. Okay, with his DNA on it. That told us where his sexual appetite was. Michael hung around kids because they were a distraction. So Michael wouldn't be gawked at. And he could always, you know, interact with a kid when somebody's coming and people wouldn't uh, invade his privacy or his space because he was doing something. Okay. Um, um, and also they weren't as sophisticated to try to work him for something. And then Michael got to relive his childhood and they were just easier to be friends. And Michael was childlike. Everybody said it. Right. So anyway, so Oprah is now number one on all voters. Um, she's uh, a list number one on original list. I'm telling you, Oprah, you did Michael wrong. You really need to do a worldwide apology. You need to do your own investigation and you need to apologize to the world 
for thinking Michael was a pedophile and pushing that agenda. Okay. All right. So I got a couple minutes and I got to go. All right. So let's see what else. Um, uh, MJ Scream. Okay. Let's go to Facebook. Let's go to Michael Jackson. They're promoting Michael Scream album today. And remember the Halloween uh, cartoon in which they don't air it anymore. It should have been aired every year or ep multiple episodes. Okay. Because of the Leaving Neverland. It cost them. It cost Michael. They won't even air that. And that was just had nothing to do with kids, had to do with youth, but now no children. All right. So anyway, so Michael Jackson, uh, where is, oh, here's the Michael Jackson page. I mean, why, why did I click it? Okay. Michael Jackson's page. Oh man. Oh, okay. Here it is. Michael Jackson's YouTube page. And real quick, uh, I'm going to show you guys. So, so I want an hourglass. I got a few seconds. Okay. There's the screen. Remember that? Okay. That screen promotion. Uh, they have the, um, let me go to Instagram. And the day that album came out was the day that I opened Twitter. So Michael, you know, because Peter Michael Bobby opened Twitter the day before, June 25th, 2009. Plus we got all this other stuff where he's Michael. So you guys, for the umpteenth time, there's Bobby, who's the front and the decoy for Michael. There's Michael behind the scenes as the being living and dead, so he can't be himself. And then together, they're Peter Madani. So you don't know sometimes if you're talking to Michael or if you're talking to Peter Madani. You don't, or Bobby, Michael or Bobby, because their voices are very similar, okay? I, I listened to an interview Michael did, oh my God, what interview was that? Uh, with Steve Harvey, maybe? Or Geraldo. But anyway, that's who that's the voice I heard the majority of the time. I told you guys I hear three heard three voices. Okay. So uh let's go Michael Jackson here on Instagram. And why he take the wink out? Okay, why did Michael take the wink out? Okay, at the end. Why are you taking the wink out, Michael? Or somebody else probably posted it and, and you didn't get a chance to tell him about the wink, right? So the wink is not there, okay? So I think I got a few seconds, okay? I'm I'm a, I'm gonna show it to you guys when it starts over again, cause I only cause it's only a few seconds. And before there was the wink, and I'm gonna pull it up and show y'all. Okay, here we go. Only got a few seconds. Okay, here here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Before it starts, hourglassing on me. Okay. So this is the promotion from, this is on the Michael Jackson page. And then look at the end. Oh my God, it's going to start hourglassing. There there's, was a wink right there. Okay. There was a wink right there. Okay. Now let's look. Oh, I got to go. I got to go, go, go. Okay. Let's see. I know I got it. Twitter and scream. Ah, oh, man. Um, let's go here and let's go on scream. Twitter. Let's see what comes up. Scream and Twitter. Here it is. I have it here. And then I'm going to look up the wink. Okay, here it is here. All right. All right. So, uh, Scream, here it is. All right. Uh, Michael Jackson, Scream, uh, September 29, 2017. And I opened my account September 29, 2008. Thank you, Michael. Okay, and the Scream album. Okay. And let me see if I can find the Scream wink. Okay, scream, wink. Sometimes Michael can't get to the people that do the stuff. So uh, where to wink at, Michael? Scream, wink. Okay, so let's find it. Uh, desktop, scream, wink. Scream, wink. Uh, where is the scream, wink? Oh, where? where is it? Where is the scream, wink? Oh, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? I got to go. Okay, scream. Oh, I need to close this and open this. Scream, wink. Let's see what comes up. Scream, wink. Mm, nothing there. Scream, wink. Scream, wink. Okay, come on. No matches. Oh, man. Let's do wink. Let's do wink. Wink. There's no matches. What you mean no matches? Why is this doing this? Seems like something I can control. 
Okay, Scream Wink. There is the Winkin' Owl from Teresa. And where is my Scream Wink? Oh, man. I... Where is all my stuff? Maybe I got the wrong one, wrong hard drive plugged in. Nope, I got the big one plugged in. Sometimes it does that where it just, it won't do what I want it to do because I got so many winks. I mean, I got winks like galore. And when I put in wink, hardly nothing come up. Okay, I got winks. Wink. Come on. And then I got to go. I got to go to my farmer's market. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Wink. Okay. Wink. It act like it don't want to do nothing. Ugh. Let me close this. Let me open. Let me close everything. And then let's try it again. Let's try just wink. Because I got so many winks. I got so many Paris winking, Latoya winking. Um, uh, um... Justin Bieber, wink, nod, smile. Who remembers the wink, nod, smile? Oh, my God. In the middle. And there's a lot more to it that connects right to me. The wink, nod, smile. Oh, that was so fun. Okay, so um, I, I don't know where all my winks are. Wink. Okay, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Justin Bieber, wink. Oh, it's, it's not here. Scream. Let's look at the original... How could this not be here? How could it not be? Why is it tripping? Why why is it why is all my wink stuff not coming up? Okay, finally, now here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, there's so much wink. There's so much wink. Okay, finally it oh here it is. 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 Here's the wink. I just saw it. I just saw the wink. Oh the wink isn't in that one. The wink is in that Hollywood special wink. Okay, here it is. Okay, see, I can't, sometimes that's why I got a review. Okay, so as soon as it comes up, and uh, I got so much winking. I got, I got Latoya and Janet with the sunflowers, and I got Paris winking, and it's acting like, uh, here it is, here it is. Here's the Michael wink. Okay, there it is. There's the Michael Wink. So it's in the other one. It's in the Halloween special Wink. Uh, the Halloween special that with the cartoon, the animated series Wink. That's what he's probably telling me right now. Bro, it's in the other one. In the Halloween, not in that one. You know, had the Wink emoji on the Mass Singer. And I just can't show you guys so much. I'm just going to show you how many times Paris winked. Okay, this is this is all the Paris wink real quick. I'm gonna show you all of them. Look at all those winks that Paris did. Okay, I can't. I gotta turn it around before it starts hourglassing. Okay, wink. And um, uh, another. What is this? Peter Pan PYT winks. MJ coming back. It just says, "How are you?" He just liked the winks. He liked the winks a long time ago. Okay, let's see. He loved it when I was like, so give me some wink winks. And then, you know, you had Jermaine. There's, um, there's nothing more than coincidences with the wink at the end. And then we got the um, the special from January uh, 2012 when they were at Hollywood, Hollywood Groman's Chinese Theater with, um, with Chris Tucker and the Hot Chocolate. Oh, my God. If you don't know this stuff, you guys got to. You 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 just you, you just you, you gotta watch the Alive docu series, okay? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's Jermaine and his wink in that one email that he put at the end? There's no such things as coincidences. So he was telling me there ain't no coincidence in uh, Paris and Pablo. Oh my God! She sent to me. Paris sent to me. Pearl Junior. Wink, wink, and it was in Paris's favorites. Okay, here you go. Here you go. There's just so much. There it is. Paris Jackson on Twitter. Pearl Jr. Wink, wink. 
Okay, call me Pablo. Okay, even though that that's a that's a Kanye West song, but it doesn't matter. She was using it for Pablo Terragama, who was supposed to be the actor who is really so for Go From Ashes. So you got to remember, there's two of them. Michael's got all kind of tricks, and if you're not into tricks, you'll just get really frustrated. Okay, the wink, nod, smile, um, and the examiner. What is this? Let's see. I, I got to get into this later. But anyway, I got too deep into the winks. Let's see, Jermaine. Oh, here it is, Jermaine's. Okay, this is right before the Chris Tucker hot chocolate where Peter Michael Bobby first called me January 15th, two weeks later. I kept saying, send me some wink winks and uh, please send me some. And there was, oh my God, I got five minutes to get out of here. And there was uh, Jermaine. He had, first Peter had um, um, emailed Chris Tucker. Then he had posted the hot chocolate, and then Jermaine had posted this Twitter, right? Here it is right here. Okay. Yes, there's no such things as a coincidence. A wink right there. See it? Um, and this was right before January 22nd. That event was on the 27th, I think, of January. And uh, so, and Chris Tucker told a story about Jermaine and hot chocolate. So he posted ahead of time. How am I supposed to not think he's Michael when he sounds just like Michael? And said he had a brother named Ragu and Ragu was uh, Randy's, uh, Randy's uh, nickname, right? And he said, so he posted to Chris Tucker, Jermaine posted no such thing as coincidences and uh, the hot chocolate. And, I, and and it was a story about Jermaine and, and Chris Tucker spilling hot chocolate at Neverland. Stop, okay? I'm, I'm, it's just, it's just so vast. Okay. That was the first one where he got my attention, right? He had got my attention. Here's the hot chocolate. Uh, the, the post by him of the hot chocolate. Let me show that real quick. Hold on. I want a better hot chocolate. Um, well, anyway, it's all in my thing with the day he posted it and everything. Here's the
Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I pushed the wrong button. So I was muted. Oh my God. I don't have time to redo everything over again. Okay. So, um, oh my gosh. I don't know when I did that. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, guys. Starting at hot chocolate, no sound. I can't hear you. My fat finger pressed the wrong thing for the thing. So I'm sorry, guys, but I don't have time to redo it. So I'll listen to this again, and then I might redo this. Um, I'll redo this uh, video. So my apologies. I uh, love you all. Talk to you later. Have a happy Halloween. Have a happy Thrillerween. All right. Bye-bye.